Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video, I ordered a print from six professional photo labs to compare price, quality, customer service, and speed of delivery. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you how they compare. Now for this comparison, I ordered prints from the same photograph on as comparable paper as I could get. Some places only had Kansan, so ordering Hanamula, Fine Art Barita, or Photo Rag Barita wasn't possible, but all the sample prints were made at 12 by 18 inches. I tried these printers, Bay Photo in California, my local lab, Chromatics here in Nashville, Digital Silver Imaging in Boston, Reed Art and Photo in Denver, which actually announced last November that they were closing, but they recently reopened again, and this print was made from before they were closed. White House Custom Color, or WHCC in Minnesota. And just for comparison's sake, I ordered a print from Whitewall, even though I'm very familiar with their work already. Factors I looked at were, do they carry my preferred papers or something very similar? What's their turnaround time and speed of shipping? What's the ease of their ordering system? The quality of their packaging and is it reusable? And the print quality, of course. Okay, let's get into the details with the first lab, Bay Photo. Bay Photo's online ordering system is a piece of cake, so easy to use. You upload your file to their system, then just scroll down, make selections of paper type and finishing options as you go along. They offer papers from Kansan, Hanamula, and Moab, but they don't offer the Hanamula papers I prefer, so I picked Kansan Platine Fiber Rag instead. I like the fact that they easily let you specify a white border. However, one thing that's not clear in the ordering system is that the white border subtracts from your overall image size. I didn't realize my print image area was smaller until I compared it to prints from other labs. With a little math, you can make it work, but this is kind of a deal killer for me. I had the print in hand within six days. The cost was right in the middle of the pack, comparable to most of the other labs. I like that they ship the print flat. The package is impressive, but oh my, look at that crease in the box. As it turns out, the print was severely damaged, but I contacted Bay Photo and had a perfect replacement within a couple of days. Again, this is printed on Kansan Platine Fiber Rag. The Platine Fiber Rag looks really nice, but I did detect some gloss differential on the paper surface, where you can see the difference in the shine of the ink versus the paper. It wasn't until I got another print in my hand that I realized that the Bay Photo print wasn't as large as the second print. At this point, I was baffled. Had I ordered the wrong size? No, it's the correct size. It's just that the border comes out of your print size, which is just a really questionable way to do it as far as I'm concerned. But Bay isn't the only shop to do that, as we'll see later. My next print was made locally at Chromatics in Nashville. Now, I guess it's just that old local bias in action, but I tend not to think of them as a top-notch lab, even though they are Hanamula certified and they do perfectly great work. Their print is one of the best of the bunch, and they are also one of the most affordable options too. Their website's easy to use, even though I could have picked it up at the counter, I had them ship the print to me to keep it fair. Chromatics gives you a free one-inch border, which I love. The print arrived in a sturdy tube. Ironically, even though they're the closest to me, they took the longest to get the print in my hands by shipping. But look at this. Did they really do this? Not a really good way to wrap a print for mailing. It's a little wonky for being rolled inside the bubble wrap, but not severely bent. Truthfully, I wouldn't ask them to ship prints again. I would just go pick them up in person. So if you're thinking about ordering at a distance, keep this in mind. As I said, the print itself is gorgeous. As a Hanamula certified shop, they offer Fine Art Barita and Photorag Barita. And in spite of the OBAs, I'm still in love with the Fine Art Barita. It sparkles and the texture is beautiful in my opinion. I 
I checked for that gloss differential that I saw on the plate team fiber rag, but it just wasn't there on the Hanamula. I've worked with chromatics on several occasions, and while they will work with you if you need a brush print made, they weren't particularly fast on this turnaround time. They're closed on Fridays too, which is great for their employees, but something to consider if you need a print made quickly. Our next print was made by Digital Silver Imaging based in Boston, Massachusetts. They are a Hanamula and Kansan certified shop. Their website isn't quite as simple to use as some of the others, but it gets the job done. They offer Hanamula Photorag Brida, and I was able to get a half inch white border. With shipping, Digital Silver was the most expensive of all of the six labs tested. Packaging is pretty sturdy, but not reusable. I had to print in nine days after placing my order. The print is beautiful.
Now, it may seem excessive, but that's really not acceptable to me. I can't send a print to a client with a dent in the paper, not even on the white margin. It just looks careless. Next, we'll be looking at a print made by Reed Art and Imaging in Denver, Colorado. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Reed announced their closure last year, blaming COVID and supplier issues, but then they reopened uh, in early 2023. There were a few things about ordering from Reed. One, I couldn't make a payment on their website. A customer service rep had to call me five days after I placed the order online to get a payment over the phone. The other thing is they didn't specify exactly which Hanamula Barita they feature on their ordering page. It just said Hanamula Barita, and they didn't give a free white margin at Reed. I had the print in hand in nine days after placing the order. The package was sturdy and at least partially reusable. On first blush, the print looks very nice, but upon closer inspection though, I found a bent corner and someone had touched the surface of the print with their bare hands and left greasy smudges. Look, there's another fingerprint. I'm sorry, but that's just unacceptable. I prefer a print lab that cares about my print as much as I do, and this was a careless thing. Now, it happened before, and maybe the new iteration of Reed will be more careful, I'm not sure. Also, this whatever unspecified Brida isn't a paper I would choose over the Fine Art Brida or the Photorag Brida. Look at the gloss differential here. I've never seen that on any other Hanamula paper. In all fairness, once in a frame, no one would be able to see that, I suppose. Our next print was made by WHCC, also known as White House Custom Color from Minnesota. Their website gave me an error when I tried to upload a TIFF file, so I resaved the file as a JPEG. The ordering page was extremely easy to use, but paper choices are limited, but they do have Photo Rag Brida, which is what I selected. Packaging was substantial and included some new customer goodies for a first time customer, which I thought was a really nice touch.
print looks good, just like Bay Photo though, the white border is subtracted from the print area. But other than the size issue, I think this print looks really great. Nice job, WHCC. Also, the WHCC print was by far the lowest cost, like by far. They may have given a new customer discount or something, I don't recall, but still, much lower price than the rest. And I had the print in six days, faster than the rest as well. Just be sure to account for that white border if you order through WHCC. And finally, we'll look at a print made by Whitewall based in Germany. Now, as I said before, I've ordered a ton of prints from Whitewall and their website is quite polished and easy to use. They offer a huge variety of print types, including real gelatin silver prints and prints made on wood, metal, acrylic, you name it. They are a Hanamula certified shop also. Whitewall offers a selection of choices on the white border, but they charge for this and it's a pretty substantial charge. For example, on a 12 by 18 inch print like the ones I use in this video, Adding a 0.79 inch white margin adds seven US dollars to the price of the print. And here's our print on Fine Art Brida. Very nice as always from White Wall. I ordered it as a part of a client order, so it came rolled in a tube with an outer box, quite secure, but it has a curl of paper, which is why it's weighted down. Even coming from Germany, I had this print in hand in eight days. They offer flat rate shipping to the U.S. with a substantial customer loyalty discount if you order regularly, but their price was still in the middle of the pack. Okay, now we'll look at each of the six prints again. This is the print from Bay Foda on the Canson Infinity Plating Fiber Rag. And the local to me option, Chromatics from Nashville, printed on Hanamula Fine Art Barita. Digital Silver Imaging of Boston, printed on the Hanamula Photo Rag Barita. Read Arden Imaging from Denver on an unspecified Hanamula Barita.
Next is the photo rag brighter from WHCC from Minnesota. And last but not least, the white wall print on the Hanamula Fine Art Brida, printed and shipped from Germany. Well, I hope this video will prove useful to anyone wanting to buy a print from a commercial photo lab. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit my website at keithdotson.com.